Alex Rance has stolen the show at Essendon's first day back at pre-season training. The Premiership Tiger joined in with the Bombers youngsters who returned to the club ahead of schedule to get the jump on season 2022. Just 73 days after the loss to the Western Bulldogs in the finals, Essendon is back training. Just part of our program. Um, we want to get back to training as soon as we can. Um, we're looking to build into a great season next year and um, it's the best way to do it. So just get into training. Got a good young group here now. A few of the older boys are stepping in as well, give a bit of experience with our training. So I'm excited to be back. Senior players hey. Dyson Heppel, Jordan Ridley, Andrew McGrath, Darcy Parrish and Nick Hind all returning early for the Bombers. There's new haircuts, new faces and some familiar ones in new colours. Alex Rance. Yeah, he's, he's awesome. It was great to meet him today. Um, obviously an incredible player during his career. Um, it's great to have him out on the track. He's a great voice. Obviously so experienced. He's got a lot of knowledge to pass down to us young fellas. He's going to be working with us closely, so that's an awesome thing for us. The former Tigers defender will work with key position players and with the Bombers' young talent, but looks like he'd be ready to roll come round one. <laughs> he's probably capable, he's that good, but nah, he's, he's working as a part-time coach for us. With the COVID deadline of November 26 approaching in Victoria, employees will only be able to go to their place of work if they are double jabbed. It sounds like that won't be an issue at Essendon. From as far as I know, um, I think they are, but um, I know I'm, I'm double vaxxed and well, it's not my place to comment, I don't really know the information, but I think so. Over at Carlton, the weather was fitting with a COVID cloud hanging over the club. One senior player has thus far refused to get vaccinated and at this stage won't be eligible to return to training next month. The player may face demotion to an inactive list or be sacked from the club completely. At Hawthorne, Finn McGuinness has tested positive for COVID-19. He went to training on Monday before developing symptoms and testing positive on Tuesday. Drew Jones, Fox Sports News.